सर यू आर म्यूटेड प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ good evening everybody so this is the lab session this is the lab that we are going to discuss about in today's session that we have to write a pl pl stands for programming language sql code block that will accept an account number from the user and check if the user's balance is less than minimum balance only then deduct rupees 100 from the balance this process is fired on certain table okay so it's not possible to discuss the whole pl sql because it itself is a full language any pro lang pl sql code can be embedded with the sql queries so that you can have a flavor of both the programming as well as the sql statements so i would like to give you an introduction about first the pl sql okay uh, pl sql is an uh, procedural language extension for sql and it is the oracle proprietary 3g stands for third generation languages all your dbs db if you remember earlier days of database versions or uh, fox pro fox base all these are third generation capabilities and pl sql is totally integrated with sql and it is portable with oracle database means uh, you will not find it uh, com compatible with some other databases and it is callable from any client particularly if it is supported via oracle there are various sections basically if i ask you what are the various structures of a c program there are some header sections are there then some variable declarations are there then there are certain executable statements are there same way a pl sql is also a code it has various sections it has certain sql statements certain pl sql statements combined together so a block is the base you know that what is a block block basically in any language is nothing but a curly brackets and so in a c program or in java language we say any piece of code written within curly brackets is a block of code but in pl sql you have to start it via begin and ending it via end so begin and end is a block so there is a header section declaration section executable section and in the end exception section clear so we are not going in details because it's not uh, advisable it means we cannot cover the whole sql pl sql in a portion of a single course so these are the declarations header declare begin exception end for example declaration section what declaration section says it has variable declarations for example a you have declared it as number text one you have declared it as variable character with 20 you can initialize it also clear you may declare you may initialize text you call it as a string also variable character similarly executable statements are written within begin and end so important data types in pl sql are number integer character variable character date so it's my advice that you read it from any open source textbook there so much material is available on these data types p pl sql so to date is a function which converts a string anything written within a single quote is a string you can convert it into a date format now how you can relate data types for the specific columns you say that declare it the variable name i want that you please focus here this is the variable name any variable name you can say 
the second parameter is the table name. That this, suppose you are reading some value from the table. Definitely when that value come from the table to your program, it has to be stored in some variable. So that is the column name. And that is its type. So this syntax defines a variable of the type reference. So we'll discuss some examples also. So PLSQL has a number of control structures, conditional controls, iterative. You know that in general high level languages, there are so many uh, iterative statements are there. Far loop is there, while loop is there. Far is a entry controlled loop. While is a entry controlled loop. There is a do while loop is also there, which is ex exit controlled. If simple if statement is there, if with else is there, else if ladder is there, the way you find the various control statements in any other high level language, the same statements, the same conditional and iterative statements are there in PLSQL also. For example, these are the conditional controls if then end if, if then else. If then end if stands for, there is no else portion here. And if then else end if stands for, there is a two portion. Condition is checked if it is true. Some piece of code will be executed if it is false. Some another piece of code will be executed. If then else if. Then else if. So this is the else if ladder. Similarly, loop statements are there. If you want to execute certain statements. So loop and loop. Similarly, there is a while loop clear. So while condition loop and loop that is the syntax. Same way there is a for loop is there. If you know, remember what is the general syntax of a for loop? For some variable name initialization and then from initialized value to the end value. So these are the structure, the conditional and iterative statements in PLS. Now this is a simple code if you remember. I would like to give you here. Now you see here declare section begin and end section. Clear. Now you see name is a variable type is variable character length is 20. Similarly you can not only declare variables you can declare cursors also you say cursor C1 as select t dot name from table t where date is not null this is how you can select you can define the cursors but today's lab is all about plsql basics of the plsql now this is a debugging dbms output dot point line this will help you to show something on the if you want to display something on the screen so how to execute a function that is execute flag name you can call these variables. So this flag will tell you whether the function has been executed successfully or not. So this is just a reference basics of PLSQL. Basically now what we are supposed to do in today's lab. So this is exercise number six. You have to write a PLSQL code that will accept an account number from the user. So check if the user balance is less than minimum balance. Understand suppose there is a table. Table has only two columns. Suppose it has an account number. It has a balance. Okay. Now what you will do? You will prompt the user to enter an account number. Suppose I enter the account number as 10. Now this uh, account number's balance will be checked. If it is less than rupees 100, then we put some fine on the table. Okay. That is then detect rupees 100 from the balance. Clear. So there is a minimum balance is there. Suppose we define it as 500,000, whatever it may be. Clear. 
So PLSQL, I have already explained you that what is PLSQL is the proprietary of uh, Oracle company and it is a it combines the programming language constructs with the SQL state. So there are three sections are there exception section anyway we will not discuss. So right now in the virtual environment. I think PLSQL support is not provided. Am I right? Monica ma'am. Hello, Monica ma'am. Yes, sir. OK, right now the support for PLSQL is there on the virtual environment. I don't think it is so, so I am using an open platform. OK, so, sir. So there, dear students, I am just writing a code for you so that you can understand. But this open source tool doesn't have all the flexibilities. OK, my request to you that you please install SQL. Star clear SQL plus or SQL star plus if you install it on your machines, it will help you to better understand the code. So I am going to live SQL. Right now I have already created an account on this. You can also create an account using your student ID. This is just a practice platform where you will be given an access that how you can combine an SQL with the PLSQL. So I am going to the live SQL. So this is, I write the full code for you. So this is the live SQL dot Oracle dot com. This is the site. I am going to write it there also. What is the name of the team, ma'am? Monica ma'am, please write the name of the tool. This one. OK, I am not able to write it in the chat box. Oh, uh, sir, for what? For practice so that they can also I am writing the name of the. OK, Oracle Live. Yeah, yeah. OK, sir, sure, sir, I will write, sir. So I am going to start coding now, but uh, anyway, you have to first create an account on this one. Only then you will be able to use it. So after that, there will be a live SQL that you can directly work. 
So on this one, you can write your statements. I will simply start by giving you a basic introduction. What exactly PLSQL is there? Suppose I declare, I say declare section. What declare section is? All variables you have to declare here. Suppose I say X number. No problem. Semicolon. Y number. No issue. So you have declared two variables. You say Z number. You have declared three variables. So this is the declaration section. OK, now there is an section which we call it as executable section and it should start by a begin and end. OK, so now. This is the executable section. What statements you want to execute that you can write it here? How to assign the value to a variable, for example, x colon equals to 10. Y colon equals to 20. Suppose this is what I am writing, OK? Then I say z equals to x plus y. Number, so I will say Z equals to X plus Y. Now suppose I wanted to print it on the screen, so you say DBMS underscore output. That is the function dot put line. Put line is the function. Clear. Now in this, suppose I wanted to say x equals to. Then a simple x will this double bar will combine the various outputs. So it will print the value of x. Similarly, if I say dbms. Output dot put line y equals to then y clear then dbms underscore output dot put line. Z equals to Z. Let's now suppose this is the code you have written. After that, you can directly run it from this one. So there is a put line. Put line is not like this one. Put line is put underscore line. Now you see the output is. So X 10 Y 20 Z 30. Now you can use. Conditional operators also you say. I say if. X. Percentage to. Double equals to zero. Then. Now if I say DBMS underscore output dot put line. Put line is put 
अंडरस्कोर लाइन यू से सपोज आई राइट ई वन ओके नाउ आई मे राइट एंड देख लिया डायरेक्टली एंड स्पेस so there is encountered to you say y equals to x percentage to i think the ma encountered the simple two when expecting the following so actually it should be x percentage to that is the value i think mod operator is some other percentage i am wanted to use as a mod operator monica ma'am can you tell me how, how to what is the mod operator in this one hello PLS, yeah what is the mod operator in pl plsql sir i need to have to check it okay yeah please so this way you can i will simply say let want to to simply introduce that this is something the same way that you are writing there for example if i say x greater than y suppose okay I say greater. Line twelve is an error. What is the error? Every statement has to be ended via. semicolon sir we can use percentage uh, where we have to use the mod operator but that is no any way i will give you so statement process but no output is there okay now if you want you can have an else option with this also you say else so that is the lesser is printed now let me check x percentage to it is double equals to or single equals to because there are certain issues okay now let's execute so two is expecting x percentage to percentage operator you are saying monica ma'am sir percentage operator uh, you see what is the error here then so x anyway i am using it as a number y also i am using it as a number x percentage to that is the same operator yes sir so should i use it in brackets or something like that sir we may also use mod x comma 2 also in braces but they are that is why i want to say there is a different versions are there More yes, sir. It common. may be issue due to of different version. We can only try, sir. 
Okay. Or we can modify the questions to according to the arithmetic operations. Okay. Sir, so x so comma two mod braces x comma two. This is braces yes, or sir, close the braces. Okay. This is. Let's we may see. also use sir. It depends on the version that where it will work or not, sir. Line number twenty three. So hey, niye koi ma'am. So line number nine, column twenty three. What is there in countered symbol equal to? So where is the equal to symbol? It is single equal to, I think. Double equals. Anyway, so I uh, we will rectify it. Okay, this is just a small introduction that how we can go for it. Okay, now what is exact the lab that you have to do? So I am going to show you the code for that one. So this is the actual code. Uh, lab exercise that you have to do right now this platform does not accept user inputs okay i'll show you something here there are many versions basically that you will find in plsql that how do you take user input i give you an example suppose i say x number now this will declare only suppose its value i want to read then i have to write a block i say begin and i have to write end okay now in order to read its value in many textbooks you will find you will find a code similar to this that ampersand x will prompts you, you to use the value of read the value but if the similar code you execute it here it will give you an error because this environment is different so where you are working on that platform whether that what is the method to read the input here the actual method to read the input is colon equals to colon x now here there is not an error basically not variables bound not all variables bound this particular online platform does not allow you to read from the keyboard okay otherwise if the actual platform you are using then it system will prompt you to enter the value of that one and whatever value you enter it will be assigned to the variable now this is the code that basically we have written in order to execute this one i will explain it one by one basically what is the statement purpose of the first statement if you look at it create table acnt that you are creating a table account or it i am having only two attributes inside it ano that is the attribute okay and number the type similarly balance Again, number seven comma two stands. Seven comma stands for that you may have a decimal value associated. Total width is seven. Out of that, two reserve for decimals. Clear? So this means the first statement is create table. That is your step number one as per your algorithm that you are going to go. What is the step number one? Create a table. 
with attributes current balance and account number so we current balance is indicated as the balance and account number i am putting it as a number insert some suitable values into the table so this is suitable values we have entered insert into acnt value 1 1 is the account number 1000 is the balance understand so similarly insert into account values 2 comma 500 these are the five attribute values you have entered now next comes your plsql code so from here if you start with double quotes it is a commented section so this is your plsql code that you are going to use this plsql code takes the input whatever you have entered into the table now this is the declaration version that you say that declares we declared mano that is any account number variable understand number 5 indicates it's a width understand similarly mcb minimum current balance number 7 2 similarly minimum balance that is a constant value we have declared clear so any variable if you do not want to change you can declare it as a constant so mini balance is a variable it is a constant 7 comma 2 stands for 7 width two decimals so you have given the value as 1000 let's make it as 2000 okay so 1000 fine Fine is a variable. Type is its number. Width is six. Two are the decimal. So I am writing the comments also. Okay. So mano is the number variable name. This is the declaration. Okay. Now this code I will not accept. That why you are saying here. this code i try to execute on this platform it's not working basically it is the statement used in this platform to read the values of the any variables value if you want to read from the user then that is the method now let's put it in a direct way suppose i say this is my number as 2 any account number i have put it as 2 now what this program will do it will read the value of the balance from the table whose balance is to i say select balance what is balance that is the name of the attribute how many records we have added here five records we have added okay so select balance into mcb mcb stands for the variable that you have already declared what is the type of n that is the mcb variable you have declared with 7 2 into mcb from acnt that is the account number where ano ano is the name of the attribute if you remember ano is the name of the attribute okay now mano is too far our case okay now we are saying if mcb is less than minimum balance then update update stands for you are updating the value to update acnt that is the name of the table that you are updating set balance that is the name of the attribute equals to balance minus fine fine value is 100 where account number equals to m a n o and that is end if and that is the end of your procedure now if you look at the pl sql code this one is your declaration section begin to end is your executable section now let's execute the code so i will repeat it once again so this is the creation of the table okay 
then you have added five records into it. Let's execute the code first. Now there is a disadvantage of this tool is that each time you have to start, you clear the previous session. You say reset the session, remove all database subjects, remove session history and reset NLNS settings. So I am performing the actions. So now this is the code I am going to write. Control C. Control V. Again, I am going to repeat here. This is creating the table. Creating table. OK. Now you see here what you have done basically ANOS account number type number and balance clear. This is what you have done. Then you insert I tuples. Inside the. Table that is your step number two. Now you have to write the table. OK. Here also if you want to print the output, you can say select. Account number comma balance from ACNT that is account number where ANO equals to and it was a anyway it's a number so where ANO that is the number two so please note down this is the difference as per this is something different that is not there in your coding part. There you are expected to read this value from the user means it should be read from the user input. Keyboard input it should be there. So let's try to execute it. Sir also please do me a favor. Please try uh, copy this code and paste it to our chat yeah. box to me so that I can post it to the learners. Sir. Please. Okay. Sir. There is an error line number 12. Column 5. And into class is expected in this select statement. Where is the select statement we have written? This is select statement. This is not accepted. So let's make it commented. OK, let's execute once again. So okay, I'm sorry. Again, you have to reset the session. Because whatever the objects has been created earlier.
Okay. Then S as into MCB because this is something there that is the PLSQL code. Let's execute. So this is executed, you see, statement process. There is no error. So all rows are updated properly. So let me add comments into it. So madam, I am sharing with you, OK? OK, sir. OK, sir. Please share it with me. OK. That is step number one. Please note down that in PLSQL, this is step one. Okay. This is inserting values into table. That is step number two. And that is writing PLSQL code. I think that is step number three. Okay. And in the end, when you are executing, when you are pressing this one, it will work. So I am sharing it with you. Over to you, Monica, ma'am. OK, thank you, sir. So please share it with me so that I can share it with the learners. Yeah, madam, I Sir, I have not received. OK, OK, I'm saying. So here is Monica Lamba, ma'am. You have sent me an email from Monica Lamba. Uh, sir, send it me, uh, it me over the chat of the team, sir. You check. I have uh, sent you a few messages just okay. now. You okay. share it with me there, sir. Okay. Chats. So uh, this is one it's fine. Sir. I have shared it, ma'am. You have received? Yes, sir. I have received. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Your team joined, ma'am? Yes, sir. My team has joined, sir. Just I will send this to the learners. Then I will take over with my team, sir. Now, learners, we are going to have a demo over how to complete your internal assignment for programming in C and also for programming in uh, ADBMS. Okay, as both the assignments are uh, uh, have been published in your LMS and uh, that will be visible only when you people log into your LMS. Otherwise, it will not be visible. OK, so uh, me and my team is going to demonstrate you all how to attempt your internal assignment for programming in C and for programming in ADBMS practical because we all know that you people are facing some uh, connection issues with the ADBMS lab. So we people are working over it and uh, to make it user friendly, we have said our technical team to make it a GUI friendly so that it's become very easy for you. That's why we are taking the time in our LMS ADBMS lab. But by uh, within this week, we resolve your old uh, old doubts and take a session 
uh, how to execute the query, uh, how to execute a PL SQL program in your virtual lab environment. So, uh, no, sorry for the inconvenience, but we are uh, rigorously working towards your LMS lab for ADBMS so that we can become uh, we can make it very user friendly for you. Okay. Uh, now uh, I would like to invite uh, uh, Abhishek uh, Pandey sir uh, to demonstrate uh, how to uh, conduct your uh, internal assign internal assignment for both of the practical. Now sir is basically focusing about the programming in C, and in the same manner we can conduct our ADBMS lab also. Okay, if we leave the uh, technical issues which we are facing. Okay, sir. Uh, Pankaj sir, please uh, stop sharing your screen and uh, over to you, Abhishek sir. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, uh, very good evening, uh, dear learners. Uh, hope you all are started working on your assignments. And uh, today we uh, gathered here uh, to discuss uh, what are the simple steps to be followed in order to submit your assignment or our, uh, on our LLMS. Uh, students, uh, just allow me to share my screen. Just one minute. Uh, Ma'am, uh, is the screen is visible? Can you confirm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Your screen is visible, sir. Okay. Student, first step is uh, the steps uh, to submit your assignment over LMS is very simple. First, what you have to do is just go to your learning management system and uh, log in with your student ID and password. Okay. Now, once you log in with your ID and password, you will be redirected to your uh, to your uh, LMS learning management system. And here you need to choose programming in C practical. OK, now go down. And uh, select virtual programming lab okay then select programming lab for c practical for bca now it will redirect to you to this page okay in this my exam section you have to click on start button okay now it is asking your permission to start your uh, assignment just click on continue coding and say yes continue now see this is the page this is the very first page that will appear and it will tell you about the project instruction set of instructions that you need to follow in order to complete your assignments please read these instruction it will help you uh, to complete your uh, all the questions seven questions uh, uh, to uh, to complete your assignment read it and then close it okay once you read the instruction thoroughly just click on the next project button this will redirect you to the very first question of your assignment in this assignment we uh, uh, you have to attempt seven question okay this is your first question and saying write a c program using if if else statement to find the largest number among two given integers okay once you understand the question, then you have to start start writing the logic. For your convenience, we have given you hints and tips for each and every question. OK, uh, let's say if you have any doubt in uh, the logic part, then you can refer the hint and tips in order to solve your question. OK, now uh, once you read the question, then go to your first exercise. And here you have to write your logic. OK. Here you have to write your logic. And. And you have to save your save your uh, program, then click on compile button and then execute. OK, once you compile and run. Your your uh, first question, then remember once you compile it, and execute it successfully, then click on submit project button. OK, remember this is very important step. You click on submit project button. 
and it will ask you it will redirect you to this page okay and you have to click on the submit project means your first question is submitted okay once you submit your first question you have to go to the next project it will redirect to the second question read the second question and if you have any doubt in logic part go and take the help of hint and tips apply the logic where to apply the logic go to your exercise and select exercise 2.c and write your logic it here and once once uh, you verified your logic save it compile it and then run it okay okay after successfully execution again save the project once you save click on the save project same it, the page will be appearing submit your second question once your second question completed click on the next project okay click on the next project it will redirect to the third question read the question understand the logic get hint from get hints in order to understand and apply the logic where to apply the logic write your logic here okay now compile run and then submit project your third project your third question is completed in the same way just next project just a minute yeah okay uh, next question will be appear to you just read the logic apply it here this is your exercise for our question for whatever you say apply it here Re execute execute means run okay compile it run it and submit project your four, uh, fourth question is completed similarly student you have to do the similar step for fifth fifth question sixth question and the final seventh question okay that is exercise 7.c and once you completed all of your seven exercises then you have to click on the submit exercise that is at the rightmost corner okay at the last last step is submit exercise once you submit exercise your task is over okay hope you understood the steps are very simple student first log in with your learning management system go to virtual programming lab select programming in c option then go to virtual programming lab and in that lab click on uh, click on start button and then read the instruction start working on your exercises from question number 1 to question number 7 okay and finally uh, you have to click at the last you have to click on submit exercise button i just came to know uh, still uh, some of the learners haven't log in yet to the learning management system please i request them please log in with the learning management system and start working on your uh, given assignment hope you understand and if you have still doubt we are very happy to clarify your doubt students thank you so much ma'am thank you students uh, sir we have a, please raise your hand if you are feeling any uh, if you have any query regarding this so that we can unmute you and uh, able to answer your questions please raise your hands one by one i will unmute you and you please ask your questions please raise your hands yeah. uh, sir i am reading a few questions from the learners that how to check the question again uh, how to check the question again uh, dear learner once you attend the question your uh, your project is your uh, question is submitted then you will be redirect to the next question and that question you have to complete and again submit the project then you will redirect to the next question hope uh, hope uh, i reached to your answer so they want to read the question again that what what is their question okay you you can student you can read the question n number of time no problem i will show you it once again just one minute ma'am is the screen is visible yes sir screen is visible okay. sir okay uh, just like for that for example uh, i want actually yeah. sir the students wants to know that uh, after submitting they want to reiterate it what they have submitted they want to check it once again okay Okay, I got it. Actually, sir, uh, in in this assignment, there are uh, there are three 
attempts they can attend uh, attend and once they complete on the first assignment once the exercise is submitted then they will redirect it to the second attempt they cannot check it back hello ma'am no sir uh, by clicking the previous project they can check their uh, question also and what they have did that also but uh, but that attempt already will be counted if i am not wrong if they had submitted it now yeah. if they save and if they have submitted then the it will count one yeah yeah okay and if they have not submitted they just code it and save it then the count will not be carried out exactly exactly so the question is actually whether uh, you know you can see the question without attempting you just yeah, want yeah. to see the questions first Yes, sir. We can okay. see the question by clicking the previous project or by next project. It will exactly. take you to the screen itself of the project only. That what is your question? For example, for example, sir. Now I am in fourth question. I want to see the fifth question. Just click on the next project. So it, it will. It, yes, sir. The question is: Will it be counted as an attempt? No. Till you not submit your project, it will be not counted as an attempt. Definitely. Thank, thank you, sir. That's the clarification. Uh, you just click on next project. You will you will read the question. If you want to see uh, previous question, just click on the previous project. I think it's clarified. Thank you. You're welcome. You can navigate navigate to your exercises any number of time, but only when you click the submit project button, then only your count will be counted. Otherwise, your counter will not increase uh, only because of the navigation. It's clear, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, my next, my question is actually: uh, Is it the same for uh, database programming too? Ah, uh, yes, it is same for the database programming also. Are you going to do a demo today or? Ah, uh... uh, 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 sir, uh, the same steps are uh, in the same scenario. We have uh, same for the ADBMS also. So, how about da database? Uh, how do we know which database to connect to and the user ID and all those things? Uh, that is a main yes, issue yes, now is because uh, there is a tab enabled that is credential before we have before that we have a java file where we have to set our credentials okay but now we have changed our uh, platform to gui based so that's why uh, our technical team is working over it and we are going to clear your all doubts about the uh, dbms lab in this week only now i will give you demo about how to uh, run the sql commands are properly working in your lab that'll be okay. great that'll uh, be great thank uh, you so i will give you a demo regarding this that your uh, lab is uh, actually working fine uh, but we have a issue only with the pl sql code and the connection string that are to be set and we clear about this doubt uh, in this week only that'll be great ma'am thank you Okay, and still, if you have any doubt regarding the internal assessment, that uh, how many counts are there, and those people who mistakenly have attempted uh, the three, uh, all the three attempts, then they can uh, connect to their mentor, and uh, it may be possible that uh, we have an uh, option for uh, resetting. And if you are comfortable that you have attempted one and two are left with you, then it's easy. because the questions are i don't think that they are so tough that uh, you need to reset that you can attempt easily in three uh, in uh, rest of your two or one attempt so don't get panic it's uh, quite easy to work with first of all you have to submit only the project and after completing all the seven project then you have to click over to the uh, submit exercise uh yes uh, yes if you submit your project then for that exercise your count will be one your counter will increase if you have not submitted you just code it run it save it then it will not counted you can uh, do anything with your code what you want to do uh, when you click your submit project button then it means it is submitted before that you can save it you can compile it you can run it each question ma'am uh, have three attempts right yes each question have three attempts okay oh. 7 3 the 21 21 attempts we have ma'am can we pick out the question randomly I mean, yes, you can pick out your questions randomly. I mean, one after three, five, 
like this suppose you have first attempt question 1 then you click next project button next project next project button and you uh, navigate to your exercise number 5 so you have skipped three question in between them so that will be not counted as i uh, said earlier that you can navigate to your exercise as much of any time okay thank you Ma'am, exercise submission is counted as one, or project submission is counted as one. Exercise submission means you have submit your internal assessment. That is counted as one. Uh, no, no. Actually, no. sir, uh, the See. count is with the individual projects, not with the exercise. So please note down that if you have submitted the exercise, then there will not be any means that is the final submission. Okay. After okay. that, you will not be able to change anything. Am I right, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay, so please make sure that exercise submission has to be only when you are yes. finally sure that you have attempted every question and you have exhausted all your attempts, etc. Then you submit exercise. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Any other doubt? Ma'am, when we click the pre when we click the previous button, yes. then the question should be pop out, right? That previous question. Yes, it should previous. Be pop yeah, yeah, question. yeah. That's right. And if you want to attempt it, then close that window and go to your dot C file and attempt it there. Okay, okay, okay. Ma'am, Any other so, query, please. Monica, ma'am, I have to go. I have some other. Yeah, sure, to... sir. You can leave, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, please arrange the DBMS project submission, ma'am. Ah, uh, yes, sir. I am working. Oh, I am demonstrating you about that, sir. First of all, uh, as I told you, the. manner is totally same in this manner you people are uh, working with the c the same steps and the same way you have a look and feel about your lab of adbms okay ma'am but but we have just got the try a demo of the dbms practical submission there are some uh, files will be created automatically but right now there are no any files created by system then how we can uh, upload our code uh sir just i am demonstrating you i am sharing my screen abhishek yes. sir uh yeah ma yeah yes ma'am please stop sir, sharing so that yeah. i can share yes sir yeah sure yeah ma'am you can now ma'am you can share okay sir now my screen is visible to all of you yes ma'am okay. okay now uh, this is your virtual programming lab of your adbms okay, okay uh, i have uh, you first of all you have to make your exercise then you have to choose your uh, archetype as ms uh, my sql okay then you are uh, with file query dot sql and instruction dot md file and this is your credential part now before this we have a dot java file now we have make it uh, user friendly so that you can set your host name username and this uh, these all thing we will provide you with okay ma'am so, tell me what is the host name sir actually we will uh, send you a mail regarding this right okay. now because i am at the faculty login so uh, i will uh, we will send it to separately to all the learners that what will be your host name what is your name what will be your username and what will be your password and port number username and password we we are we got student uh, student roll number is a username and password is same but port number host name and name we doesn't know ma'am uh, because also you can see here they are also okay, empty okay, okay. empty at my end so you uh, just uh, try only with the uh, username uh, okay and password and Yes, I didn't get what you are saying. Username and password only two. Sir, we will send it to you uh, to all the learners. Right now, I do not. Uh, I am not sure about the credentials. Credential part. Okay, ma'am. Okay. 
okay but the credit username and password is there for example i am using a some uh, specifically back end uh, login so these are preset at my end username and password and after setting these i am able to run all my uh, all my queries easily for example this is a create table command okay so i have suppose i want to create a new table that uh, i want to create this table then i write this query save it and then run the query okay it is compiling and if there is no error the table is successfully created you can show here the table is successfully created here okay so in this manner uh, we are easily we are uh, uh, executing our queries uh, sql queries are or easily implemented in this virtual lab environment because i am writing my queries saving it and executing it this is quite same now yes, the question question is because first of all you have to write a create table command then you have to uh, separately write insert table command then you have to write uh, your query which we have asked from that particular table because sql query itself covers three or four part it's not a single step like in a c program okay then uh, when your query is successfully executed we have a out uh, by default we have a file that is output dot csv file so if you only create your queries your table is created successfully then only your query will work so last query will be your query only okay and that will work only when your tables are created successfully so our main focus is that what query you people are writing in your exercise okay yes ma'am we we are we are writing the uh, correct query but there is no any table creation uh, uh, we are facing problem in table creation ma'am Oh, the query will work only when the table is created. Otherwise, it will not give you output. Yes, ma'am. Because there is a problem with username, password, host, and port number, ma'am. Because we have not set any password or username or port number, na, ma'am. That's why we are facing problem. Then we want to some demo. What will be the entry of host name, username, port port number? That's why. Yeah, sure, are, sir. Sure, sir. I also also mentioned this in our chat box that we are rigorously working towards these, and within this week only, we are going to clear you each and everything and give you demo. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So because it's a multiple, uh, in case of a DBMS, you have a multiple step queries. It's not just like uh, in a C program that you write the code once and then compile it and save it, compile it, run it, and then submit it. It's a multiple step. Only your last step will be written in your .dot SQL file, and that query will work only when it means if your query is giving you answer. It's by default understood to us that you have created your table properly, you have insert your data properly then only your query is working if your query is not working means you have some problem in your table creation okay so that's why how we are going to judge you our main focus is on the construct of the query that how you people are writing that query okay and the steps of attempting the internal assignment for the adbms is same as that of the programming in c rest the uh, only the different thing here the platform is different there we are using c and here it's sql otherwise each and every step is same in a same manner you have previous project next project where you can see your questions itself okay i know that you people are uh, facing problem with the credential part only and we are working over it and within this week we are going to send you a document or also give you a demo regarding this uh, so that you people are uh, easy uh, with the lms virtual lab environment for the adbms any other query i think rakshit having some query raise hand ma'am rakshit Uh, you all people, I have Forgotten, allowed the mic down. for all of the. Please, one oh. by one, you can ask your queries. All people can mute themselves and they can ask the queries. 
Hello. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You uh, are my name is Alan Joseph. Yeah. So my question is uh, just simple like uh, you just told that uh, you will show the demo by in one week. So already give the deadline like a uh, 13th of September. And so till once you show demo, we will not proceed to uh, for any other programming writing or like a uh, submission. Sir, uh, no? If it is so, required, then uh, we will extend uh, our uh, deadline also, sir. OK, so and uh, one more request, like when you show the demo, just to show the end to end portion, like uh, beginning onwards and uh, beginning to end. Show one demo and how to submit it and all. Just do a So that if you show one, get another document. Yeah, sure, sir. Sure, sir. We will give you uh, from beginning to end. Each and everything will be cleared in that session, sir. Okay, okay. Is that uh, happening on next week? Uh, next weekend, is it? Yes, sir. Possibly uh, the next weekend, sir. Next Saturday, Sunday, or uh, in between, if you people are uh, comfortable with in in week within week sessions. Sorry, in eight on in days because yeah, sure, sir. Okay, yeah. It's a weekend. Yeah. Thank you. Any, any else? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. This is Jitendra here. Yes, uh, sir. Ma'am, my question uh, about that credential, what uh, yeah, before you asked uh, that question. So that question only that uh, credential will be shared uh, because uh, it is uh, getting late, ma'am. So after uh, in uh, only uh, 30 or 29 September, if you will uh, share this, then we cannot complete it. Because last sir, time credential we, will be shared by mail uh, uh, by Monday or Tuesday only, sir. Because the uh, thing is that uh, when we are uh, get, when we are sending uh, the issue to mentor, they are telling that uh, uh, this is the last uh, debt. Uh, we don't know about extended. Uh, so, the so, yeah, sure, sir, sir. We will try to, uh, to give you the credit uh, the clarification about the credit uh, by Monday or Tuesday only, sir. We will try at our best to uh, minimize the time taken yeah, by our team, sir. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is that uh, you know, your last time you were uh, hiring that uh, uh, subject uh, that uh, upload your uh, document and all that uh, internal assignment. So it is. Uh, um, difficult to yep. submit all their thing, okay? All yeah, sure, sir. Okay, sir, uh, sir. Uh, not uh, possible. Don't worry about that, sir. I I am personally looking in this matter, and I will try to resolve out very soon, sir. And by Monday or Tuesday, I will try to share the credential with all of the learners, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Please, you can unmute yourself and ask the queries, and please who are not asking the queries, their mic are open, background noise is there. So I request to all of you, mute yourself. And if you have any query, then you can unmute yourself because now all can, all of the learners can unmute themselves. Hello, uh, this is Atab here. I just want to ask one question that uh, all the all the su submissions will be done in M MS SQL, isn't it? S <laughs> not in PL SQL. Uh, no, sir. You have some questions regarding your PL SQL also. Okay, in that you have we to have given five exercises for ADBMS. You uh, in programming in C, you have seven exercises. Okay. And in ADBMS, you have only five exercises and your number of attempts are five. We have increased the number of attempts for ADBMS from three to five. And there are only five questions. Two are based on your SQL and uh, three are based on your PL SQL codes. Okay, okay. fine. Hi, this is Sandeepan Day. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay. So I actually wanted to know some uh, 
approximation yes. date for the final yes. exam. Why? Because I'm yes. working in a women's yes. agency yes. as a yes. uh, associate yes. manager. Yes. So I need to you know, schedule myself properly so that I can attend the main exam. So can you give me an idea when the main exam will happen? So uh, you are not audible, sir. Am I audible now? Yes, now, sir, you are audible because I have uh, uh, muted the person from where the background noise is coming out. Okay, okay. Thanks, thanks for that. So what I'm asking is, uh, I'm a working professional working in the MNC as a capacity of associate manager in test automation engineering. So uh, I really need to know when the main examination okay. will take place, some approximation time so that I can schedule myself properly. Because sir, I they will happen in the, your exam also. are most probably scheduled in the month of October, sir. October, like first half or second half, so that... Uh, uh, sir, I will confirm it of... with my team and then inform you regarding this. Sir. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, Monica, ma'am, I would like to add on in this query. Uh, the yes, tentative sir. date will be second half of October, between 15 to 30th of October. It is a tentative schedule. Uh, mm -hmm. Dear learner, uh, have you heard about it? That uh, the second half tentatively is the, the schedule of your uh, exam. Yeah. No. Yeah. Thank you. Th that, that, that will help. Yeah. Thank you. Great. All the best. Thank you. Any other doubt? Please, uh, you can feel free as our whole team is there to answer your queries. Ma'am, I have a question about grading. How much is for uh, assignment and how, how much is for the written paper or lab, the lab examination? Sir, that is mentioned. Uh, if you visit your LMS, that is mentioned there, the, your paper pattern, your internal assignment and all I the see. things are there, sir. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll refer there. Thank you. Yes. Kajal, uh, you can unmute yourself and ask the question. Joseph, you can also unmute yourself and ask your question. So there are no further queries from all of you. So can we wind up the session? Uh yeah, uh, just one more, uh, not a doubt, one uh, request actually, like uh, next uh, weekend you, you guys are planning for the demo session. So at the time, uh, please try to uh, demo uh, for both C practical as well as uh, D, uh, ADD maps. Okay, so that it will be so clear. Is it possible? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sure, sir. Even in yep. tomorrow class okay. also, you will have, uh, yeah, dear learner, even in tomorrow class also, you will having an experience of Hello. Uh, C, C demo practical. Tomorrow, Sunday class okay. also, so you will have an yeah. opportunity. Thank you. Uh, Raju Prasad sir, sir, you can unmute yourself and ask your query. Yes, ma'am. I have query one regarding the examination. Okay. So suppose during examination okay. period, if uh, uh, any disturbance in any internet connectivity, so the exam will resume automatically or we have to inform manually? The instructions or the guidelines regarding examination will be intimated to you well in advance. Uh, please have some patience for that. It will be uh, well in advance informed to you around mid of week of the October month, as well as uh, the guidelines as per set it by the proper of that examination will be shared to you so that you will be accordingly make yourself comfortable as well as make yourself comfortable also as per the standard guidelines which is to be followed by you while appearing for that external theoretical exam. So these queries are definitely will be of instructions which has been uh, highlighted to you well in advance. I'm repeating once again by the proctor come control of examiner during the phase of examination. 
ओके थैंक्स ओके थैंक्स एनी अदर क्वेरी फ्रॉम योर साइड प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ एंड आस्क योर क्वेरीज यू ऑल पीपल कैन अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ Yeah, this is uh, Sudip speaking. Is I'm, I'm audible. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Yeah, madam. Uh, my question is uh, regarding the exam pattern only about the uh, the external examination. If you if you can let us know early that what will be the uh, mode of quality of this exam will be good. If it is a proctored exams and uh, what are the softwares needed to be uh, installed on our laptops or desktop it will be easier yeah. because uh, not Dear all learner. the cases we are using we are, we are not using personal computers uh, every time so uh, whether that is possible or not we need to gauge it beforehand so the ample time should be given yeah mr sudeep i got your point it is a very valid query from your side on behalf of your learners uh, i would like to repeat once again uh, there will be not so much complexity in terms of appearing your upcoming online external exam for that a general guidelines will be shared to you the draft is in the process of uh, amendment and once it has been finalized by the high authorities we will intimate you well in advance one week or more than of earlier of that duration also uh, as far as the concerned about the uh, another support from our side you can refer your lms where your model question papers are also been published Uh, that you get a clear idea or a picture like what kind of type of questions can be asked related to your specific subject for the timing you may refer that thing and for the other respectives you just wait for the right moment right time still uh, is a uh, going on phase of your teaching come learning phase hopefully in the october month maybe from the second week or the starting week of the month october you will get the exact details about your upcoming external exam okay and best wishes in advance from my side as well as from my from our team also okay yeah okay thank you thank you thank you very much uh, monica ma'am uh, we may conclude this session if uh, there will be no more queries in this session okay thank you sir. thank you dr shakti thank you dr shikha and dr uh, abhishek sir for your support for clearing out the doubt session of the learners thank you everyone Have a nice day. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you.